Hi there, welcome to Bite Says Piano. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to play the piano accompaniment part to Champagne Problems by Taylor Swift. So I've done loads of Taylor Swift tutorials now, including Evermore and some from her folklore album as well, plus many others. So I've left the playlist down below, so go and check them out. I've also left down below all the chords and lyrics needed for this song. So this one is in the key of C major. So on the screen now, roll the note to the scale of C major. So the chords and the notes are formed using that scale. So here is middle C as a reference point. So if you locate that pitch on your keyboard or piano, it's very repetitious this one. It is 99% of the time, it's the same four chords in the same chord progression the entire way through the song. And it's played in slightly vary various different ways. So I'll go over some of the different ways that it's played or you could play it just to give it a bit more variation. Let's look at the intro first then and introduce these chords. Blue, orange, coordinated. The first chord is a C major. So in the left hand, you're gonna play in fifths, so C and E. And in the right hand, you're gonna play roots position of C major. C, E and G. So you play the left hand first like this. Then you play the thumb. Like that. So that's the pattern. So one, two, three, four. And then we have play G and D. And then come up to this G. In the right hand you're going to play B. D and G, so first inversion, same pattern again. So that goes. Or you can stretch. And then we're going to come down to A minor root position, so A and E in the left hand, and then A, C, E in the right hand, do the same pattern. Next chord is an F major, first inversion, so that's A, C and F, and in the right hand, sorry, in the left hand, we're going to play F and C, and then come up to this F, do that again, and then repeat it. So you play this chord progression twice for the intro and also twice for the verse. It's in this exact same way. obviously slowed down a little bit. Now we're into the chorus. So if you wanted to play that chord progression in that same way throughout the whole song, you can. I'm just going to teach you some of the noticeable differences that are going on in how it's played, but it is that same chord progression all the way through. So now we're into the chorus. The right hand is mostly alternating between two notes. So you're going to play C and G and then C, G, C, G, C. And you're going to play the G and D and then the with the G, G and C still. Then you're going to come up to A and E and then the right hand's going to play A, C, A, C. And then you're going to come down to F and C and the right hand's going to play 
FNC. Because I dropped your hand while dancing, left you out there standing, crestfallen on the landing, champagne problems. And then the second time around, we go back to the C major is played like this. Your mom's ringing your pocket, and you go back to the G and C. My picture in your wallet. Back to the A and C. Your heart was, <laughs> your heart was glass. I dropped it, and then it's back to this. Champagne problems. So if you want to be really specific, that's what it's doing. I'll do that second part again. Your mom's ringing your pocket My picture in your wallet Your heart was glass I dropped it Champagne problems I'll do all that chorus now Because I dropped your hand while dancing Left you out there standing Crestfallen on the landing chair got this so it's very similar to what you've just played so it goes C and then down here obviously there's a guitar part going on at the same time and then we have the A C A C A D A C and then to the F C it's like a post chorus interlude I'll do it again To the second verse. We're going to play it similar to the same verse. We've got C major, G major, and then this time the right hand comes up to a different inversion of A minor. So first inversion, so C, E, A, and then A, and then back to that F major chord. major is played there so you just swap the out the E for an F and it gives you second inversion again this is if you want to be really really specific <laughs> so I'll sing all that now you told your family for a reason you can keep it in your sister splashed out chorus so this time we've got the it breaks up this bit again and then with the G you're gonna play G and D and then to this A minor chord that we had in the second verse and then that F major chord back to the chord of C this time. You had a speech, you were speechless, love slipped beyond your reaches, I couldn't give the reason, champagne problems. And then we play a single G. So I'll do all that chorus again. Don't parry on, you bought it, no crowd of friends applauded, your hometown scared Called it champagne problems. You had a speech, you were speechless. Love slipped beyond your reaches. And I couldn't give a reason. Champagne problems. 
So after this chorus, there is another post-chorus, um, but it's twice as long this time. And to give it a bit more variation, I'm looking to the guitar part, so it's going... I think it's just really nice. It's based around... It's based around a C major pentatonic, like, inversion. Um, I just think it's a nice little thing to include that makes it sound more like an instrumental instead of just playing chords. So we're going to play either just C's or C and G. It's a bit boomy down there. So we're going to play C. You just repeat the C every time you play the G, so your thumbs together, so. And it comes up to G, you can play G and D. And then to the A minor. To the F. And do all that again. to the bridge. So I'm just going to play the bridge the same way every single time just to keep it relatively more straightforward. So for the bridge then, just to confirm, so we have this. So four times and then the last time on that F we have What? 
Once for the money, two for the show I never was ready so I watched you go Sometimes you just don't know the answer To someone's on their knees and ask you She would have made such a lovely bride What a shame she's fucked in the head they said But you find the real thing instead She'll patch up your tapestry that I shred And then we're into the chorus for the last time but we've got this again so you can play it like that if you want or you can just carry on playing it like this it's completely up to you and i'm just providing you with options so i'm gonna try it this way so the piano bit now and this funny little bit at the end <laughs> so it goes G E and a very quick E D C G C and it goes back up again <laughs> so you can add that in if you want <laughs> so do that bit again with no pedal as well you might as touch on the Chevy door enjoyed it and that it's useful. If you'd like to leave a piano tutorial request you need to click on this video which takes you through to my official request space. You do need to be subscribed. All requests are noted and considered so I look forward to seeing you over there.